game. So we're about to get underway here in Phoenix, Arizona. Stepping up to the plate is Joe Oyama, the third baseman. He was able to get a homer in last night's matchup. First pitch on its way from Curtis is called strike 0-1 to begin the at-bat. First pitch, 105 Mountain Time. Yeah, Oyama's got good tools, a lot of speed, good power. We saw it last night on that long home run to dead center. Here comes the 0-1 pitch, lofted out into right field, fairly deep, long camps underneath it, and two pitches, one out. That's how ASU begins the top half of the first. Yeah, I'll be curious to see how Ethan Long adjusts to playing right field. We know he's got a big arm. He previously played over at the hot corner in uh, last season and his freshman year as well. He has also pitched. So the arm is good, which suits him out there in right field. We'll see if, you know, he's got the footwork down and he's used to tracking those uh, long, high fly balls. Here comes Will Bermudez, the second baseman for the Anteaters. Takes it for ball number one, just outside, 1-0 to start the at-bat. Bermudez entering this game has a batting average of 333. Had a productive day at the office in last night's matchup. Grounder over to the second baseman, Kieschel. Toss over to Tobias. Two up, two down to begin the top half of the first. Yep, that's how you draw it up. You're the Sun Devils. Couple quick outs. Not much of a threat mounted by UCI in the first. Now here comes Caden Kendall. Third batter in this inning for the Anteaters, right fielder. First pitch to him, call the ball, 1-0 to begin his at-bat. So here's the X-Factor right now for ASU, like you mentioned, Hayden. Try to finish when you have two batters out. Pitch just outside, 2-0. Kendall will now be ahead of the count. Mentioned it at the top of this inning is Curtis has had two very different starts. Had one in which he worked five shutout innings with six punch outs against San Diego State, and then really struggled in Starkville his last time out. Walked five batters and gave up five runs in fewer than four innings of work. Here comes the 3-0 pitch, called the strike right down Main Street, three and one to him now. And he's got a great fastball. He'll hit mid 90s with it, touch 94-95. Locates it really well. The 3-1 pitch on its way to Kendall. He chops it over to short, and that's going to reach left field for a two-out hit. So here we go. Kendall is able to reach first base safely, and now here comes the cleanup hitter, Anthony Martinez, who had a two-run jack, like you said at the top of the broadcast, was able to clear the Whiteman Family Performance Center out and right. It was one of the more impressive home runs I've seen. And just a true freshman as well. You Look at the guy. He's very built out, a lot of just natural power. It wasn't like he had a super hard swing, just barreled it, and that ball went about as far as I've seen. First pitch to Martinez, called a strike, 0-1 to him now. And I was also very impressed with his approach, very disciplined approach at the plate. I believe he walked twice in that game as well. Martinez, 0-1 pitch, swing and a miss, 0-2 to him now. Curtis is now sitting in the driver's seat. Kendall is the runner at first. He was able to reach on a two-out single. The 0-2 pitch. Martinez takes it high and outside for ball number one. One and two, two is at bat now. Martinez sets back into the box. The one-two pitch on its way to the first baseman. Here comes the pitch. Runner is on his way to second, and Kendall's going to get there safely on the stolen bag. So runner now in scoring position, still two batters out, and the count is even to Martinez, two apiece. Nearly a pitch clock violation on that last pitch. Two seconds left before Curtis ultimately delivered. We already saw a pitch clock violation in last night's matchup. They could be costly. Grounder over to Kieschel. Easy tossed over to Tobias. So UC Irvine is able to have a batter reach second base on the single and stolen base, but nothing doing. We head to the bottom half of the first inning. No score, just underway. 